Well, hi, everybody. Good to see you again. This is, I think, our third um, little uh, video Zoom interview uh, based on your stories or our story. And as, as I've said before, what we're doing is interviewing a number of our customers who have got a really interesting story to allow you to understand really where Trailblazer is and where Trailblazer customers come. We sort of feel, as we've been running the business now for a number of years, it's, it's almost more like a family, more like a community more like an, an ethos as it is just a product. So it's not a big black machine with doors on it that grills things. It's a brand that we're trying to develop to be good for you, our customer. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to introduce you today is the famous Russell Price. And uh, sounds like somebody who's on the stage, Russell, you know. Um, Thanks very much. One of those names. Uh, and, and Russell, we've been fascinated at your story. So realistically, this is an opportunity for you to tell the other people watching us. Uh, the stuff you've told us. I bought a franchise for one of my sons uh, and we took over that franchise and then lo and behold, I'm introduced to you. And what happened then? <laughs> we bought a trailblazer. <laughs> uh, pandemic hit uh, and probably business was going well, but you could only really sell completed stock. Uh, we have an event company called K&R Events and the uh, coffee business is a separate franchise business. Prior to pandemic, I would be away uh, Monday to Friday. And I decided that I didn't want to travel anymore, uh, purely because of the restrictions that were being imposed. The event company was doing well. So I bought the Trailblazer from you and we thought, right, so we do, we, the event company would do the hot and cold buffets. But then subsequently from that, we thought, right, let's go, go and uh, go out and meet the people because that's going to be the safest way. And it's just flown. It's absolutely flown. Wow. So tell me a wee bit about your coffee business. So how did it go? Coffee business is going well, still going well. Uh, we have mobile barista vans on the road. Uh, they visit businesses all day, every day, uh, serving coffees and snacks and sandwiches and anything else that you would think of that you would get in like a Costa, as an example. Mm -hmm. uh, that's good for us. Uh, that gave us a foothold with word to mouth to prevent or to promote the barbecue side of stuff, uh, along with the event side of stuff. Uh, we've got a loyal and dedicated customer base and it works well for us. Mm. And then, you, you know, from a franchise point of view, you know, people who are listening in, they're going to be thinking, anybody starting up their own business, it's very wise to look at a franchise because a franchise is a safer way to, to get involved in business and it's historically proven to be that. Uh, and so you had this, you had a coffee franchise and which is very safe and all the support. And then you decide to move to Trailblazer after all that. Give us a wee bit about that, Russell. Uh, look, a franchise is great uh, whereby they give you the support. So if you know nothing about that industry and you're entering that industry for the first time, uh, the support that you get from, from them is really good. But as you grow, there are restrictions. There's restrictions in what you can do, where you can operate, and how you can operate. Uh, and you're tied into them. The Trailblazer is just a natural add-on to our existing event catering business. And like that was going well. Uh, that had picked up momentum in the pandemic because people were looking for small gatherings or outside gatherings. And we went, right, we'll buy, we'll buy the Trailblazer. And Trailblazer it was. Uh, I would say we bought the Trailblazer May 2021. I'm just checking my years. I would say that that Trailblazer has worked three out of every seven days since we've purchased it. Wow. Uh, whether it be a private event, whether it be weddings, whether it be tasting events, whether it be corporate events, the demand for it has been unreal. Fascinating. Well, it's, it's really interesting to have a customer who knows coffee inside out. So if you look at things, I mean, people are going to be thinking, how much money can I make? What sort of business should I go into? Should I buy a horse trailer and convert it into a coffee machine? Um, you know, what about burgers? What about this? So you know your numbers about how much time it takes to cup of coffee, make a cup of coffee, how much margin you make on that. How yes. does that compare to what you're doing off a trade measure? Uh I don't want to say publicly. No, uh, no I'm not talking about physical physical amounts. I'm just saying yeah. that, you know, ratio-wise is, you know. 
I would say that the Trailblazer is a third more. Yeah. Good. Good. So definitely worthwhile. So the, 100%. Uh, the choice of selling cooked protein grilled, grilled product is actually more profitable per hour than selling coffee. Is that what you think? 100%. And, and, and smoked food, people, like I've obviously got the Trailblazer with the smoker. Yeah. And you can read all the blurb about smoking and everyone says it's an art form and, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's possibly the simplest way to cook. Mm -hmm. And as long as you keep that smoker alight mm -hmm. and as long as you are careful and considerate and keep an eye on what you're doing, mm -hmm. it's unique from what you give that customer because a lot of them haven't had it. Yeah, so for, the, for everybody who's listening, um, Russell has what's called the Street Master, the 600 Street Master, which is basically our top of the range machine. It's not our biggest machine, but it's our top of the range machine, which has a fully integrated smoker, hold hot oven in the back of it. Uh, and we're finding out very fascinating feedback because it gives you your, fa your fast and your high speed grilling. It gives you your hold hot, it gives you smoking. Tell us what sort of stuff you do in the Street Master, Russell. Uh... We have our own recipe uh, for smoked Cajun pulled pork. So we smoke that for about four to six hours, depending on the size of the pork. Size of the pork. Uh, teriyaki uh, smoked salmon. Uh, we marinate the salmon for 12 hours, uh, and then we smoke it for about two. Any type of thigh, chicken thigh, uh, whether you Cajun spice it, whether you barbecue it, single thighs about two hours uh the big big whole pork uh ribs uh they're huge they take up the whole uh trays uh, we dry rub them in, in a kansas rub we'll smoke those for five to six hours predominantly over all of our smoking is predominantly done over red wine barrel chunks as well mm. so i bought a load of red wine barrel chunks and it just gives it a bit of a different flavor uh, we've done smoked uh, jacket potatoes. Uh, we do smoked vegan ribs in the smoker. Uh, we have done, obviously, the big briskets. Uh, but the most popular would be the teriyaki and the chicken. It's fascinating because I've been very interested in, since we added that machine, <clears throat> we've had a lot of people talking about what they're doing and the sort of stuff you're doing. And interestingly, the amount of people who tell us that they've never tasted smoked chicken before is huge. The majority of people that we've spoken to do not know what the taste of smoked chicken is. Isn't that fascinating? Yeah, um, it's, it's beautiful. And it it's so moist. <laughs> it is. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so again, that's a lovely feature. The um, So tell us a wee bit then uh, about... Um, the sort of stuff you're doing, you know, are you doing mainly private? Or are you doing, you know, sp you know uh, spontaneous type stuff, public stuff? Uh, it's a whole diverse range, to be honest. So we have tasting days for brides and grooms. Uh, and they come and we lay on an arrangement of uh, different foods for them that are all either done in the smoker mm. or on the grill. And you can check those out on our website, which is, well, you can check them out on our website, what our tasting menu looks like. Our hit rate on tasting days is 100%. Now, I think that gives us a, two unique competitive advantages. One, I don't think anybody else does tasting days. And number two, the majority of the people that come to those tasting days are never smoked, tasted smoked food. And the problem that you have is when you are compiling their menus, uh, you have to restrict them on what smoked food you want because they want so much of it. Uh, and it's like, oh, I'd like that, I'd like that, I'd like that. I'm saying, look, I've only got capacity for that. So you have to direct them with regards to uh, how and what they have on their menu. And you know, they will it down in the end to three things. So it'd be two barbecue or two smoked on barbecue, two 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 barbecue, one smoke. It's, but it's weird. It's, we're certainly seeing that it's the combination of the back end, the smoker unit, and the front end, the grill unit, which is quite powerful. You know, because I mean, yeah. a lot of people are saying, like, you know, if you, if you roast a hog and you run out of hog, there's nothing much you can do, you know. But uh, when you've got both sides going, you can grill forever. What sort of stuff do you do on the grill then, Russell? 
Uh, oh, we do a whole range. So I'm going to give you a, a bizarre, I'm not going to mention the lady's name. I have a wedding this year. So uh, the bullock is going for slaughter in uh, April. Uh, it's turning up here thereafter, uh, at our commercial premises, so that we can butcher it. Mm-hmm. And he's using the whole bullock across the smoker and uh, the barbecue. So obviously there's going to be steaks, there's going to be ribs, uh, uh, list goes on uh, with regards to what she wants. Mm. Well, you're going to have to send us a lot of photo- photographs and video of that. We'll send it out to the audience because I'm there, everybody listening is busting to see that. <laughs> yes, yeah, I can't I wait for the bullet to arrive. That's very exciting. That's very exciting. So um, any other wee tips, Russell? I mean, what, I mean obviously like, when people are making decisions about band trail business, their concern always is, Oh, will it work for us? Will it, when we get our money back, will it cost? Is it, you know, is it a lot of money? Is it a risk? Oh, yeah. what, what would you say to those people? Uh, yeah. Seriously, you've got to give it a go. Uh, it is peanuts in the grand scheme of what you will do if you do it right. You know, you the, part of the, the Trailblazer doesn't just sell your business. The Trailblazer uh, is the forefront of your business if you get your menus right if you get your customer service right if you get your seo right around promoting you and your business the trailblazer is the least of your costs mm. and uh i know that on one of your historic ads you said i wish i'd have known about it years ago i wish i'd have known about it years ago and a, 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 a bizarre compliment for you i done a big wedding last year at uh, Slane Castle. Mm. And one of the guests at the wedding was uh, an American uh, from Kansas, and he owned the biggest chain of smoke, smoker barbecue restaurants in America. And he come around, he looked around the trailblazer, and I'm not good at American accents, so I'm not going to attempt. He walked around and he went, gee, where did you get that from in America? Mm. Just naturally thought it was American. I said, "Mm, no, you're in a bit of trouble there. I then, and he said, that's fantastic. He spent possibly half hour just wandering around looking at this machine. He then, uh, he said, oh, I hope the food's good. And our Cajun pulled pork is not, you know, it's a a very simple recipe. Uh, There's nothing uh hard about it and i uh, served that at the wedding for just over 250 people he was absolutely flabbergasted he wanted the recipe i told him it was a family secret for those of you on here i nicked it off simon rimmer uh on the channel four uh on the sunday morning program uh, i told him it was a family secret and he offered to fly me to uh boston to train his chefs on how to cook it. <laughs> I just said, no. That's how simple the trailblazer is. And um, that is how, I'm going to say, the taken back from A, where it comes from, but B, what it does. Brilliant. Well, honestly, Russell, that's hugely encouraging. I mean, you know, it's, it's good for us, good for business, but we just absolutely love hearing those stories. And it motivates us to keep working because I, mean, I am a very discontent type of guy. I always want to make things better. And we listen intently to our customers and continue to try and add and keep the machine getting better and better all the time. So we're struggling with the Street Master because it's you know it's it's so developed now. Brilliant. It's based on the core core foundational machine, you know. Um, but honestly, that's been inspirational, Russell. I really appreciate your time. If there's one final word of encouragement you'd like to make to people who are listening who are sitting on the fence, not sure what to do, what would it be? Fine. Right. Buy it. As long as you market your product and your business well, buy it. You won't regret it. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much for your time. We'll we'll put up your website. Uh, you are humble not to want to mention it there, but we'll make sure it ticker tapes across the bottom. Um, Lovely. And uh, we really appreciate it, Russell. And we wish you every every success in 2022. And uh, keep up the good work. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you.